Hey guys, um, so my tip for booking summer shows is I'm actually using June as a push month. And if you don't know what a push month is, a push month is a month where you just max out your show schedule. We've got the free for all. So we've got all these things that we can earn as consultants and our hostesses are totally rocking it with that double free product. So what I am doing is I am personally reaching out to personally, not just posting on Facebook, but personally reaching out to every hostess that I've ever had that has had a 500 plus party, okay? And the reason is I want them to easily hit that 650 and I wanna be able to say to them, hey, you had such a great party. Um, did you know that June is double free for hostesses? And what do you think? Are you ready to get your friends back together either on Facebook or or in home and um, let me show them the new summer product. So what I would do if I were you is I would find a recipe that takes between 10 to 14 minutes in the rock crock in the microwave and either go live or do a video clip of you making something for dinner in it. So the way that I am able to get a lot of bookings is to videotape or Facebook live myself about a certain product when it applies to uh, the 60% off special for the next month and show something like the pork tenderloin in 10 minutes or um, the fajitas in 14 minutes, something like that that's super quick, super easy. So I encourage you to do something in your rock crock for dinner in the next couple weeks and post it on your Facebook page. We're having a strong June is going to set you up for a strong July and August. I always had a tote in my car. And we need to be ready for business because business is out there. And in it I have catalogs, I have mini catalogs, I have the hostess and the guest specials of the month, I have season's best maybe, sometimes I want to give to somebody, um, and anyway a pad of paper and a pen so that I can write people's information down. I also have um, my um, hostess packet, so I have my catalog and information for hostess ready to go. I always make sure my crossbodies have pockets in the back and I have mini catalogs ready to go. And I keep them out, the color, the pampered chef out, and I hold it this way so that when I'm walking around, people will be able to see it. And you're ready to book a party or you're ready to start up a conversation getting to know somebody who Pampered Chef might be the perfect solution to their, their needs. And my best summer booking tip for you is to not give up and be persistent. Summer is such a different season in our business and if you have your eye on the prize and your goal in front of you, you will always have a full calendar. How you do that is contacts. Every day, make a few contacts. So Monday through Friday, if you talk to three new people every day, those are new contacts that you can get new bookings. To keep your why in front of you, your goal in front of you, don't give up on what it is you want to accomplish. Continually be persistent in making your contacts and you will always have a full calendar. I know that we can talk ourselves into a lot of excuses that stop us from booking shows over the summer, but it's the time that people like to entertain the most. And there's this other thing that comes into play when you're thinking about your summer show schedule. It's the 90 day rule. It's a principle that really is applicable to our business. Talk to any seasoned consultant or director and they'll tell you that what you do or don't do now will have a direct impact on your business in 90 days. So if you want to start your fall off on a strong note so that you can have a debt-free Christmas for your family, work your business now every day so that in the fall you have your schedule already where you need it to be and having a debt-free Christmas for your family will not be just a pipe dream, it'll be reality. I wanna share with you a planning tip that's going to help you have an amazing summer. And I say planning tip because honestly, that's what it comes down to. Planning both when you're going to work your business and when you aren't going to work your business. I'm a mom of five kids and summertime is one of my favorite times of the year because the kids are out of school, there's times for vacation, and I wanna spend as much time with my family as possible. So if I don't plan that time to spend with them, Sometimes, let's be honest, I could get caught up in working all the time. And then I have this 
mom guilt that I'm not spending enough time with my family, right? And then there's this temptation to go the opposite direction and spend a whole lot of time with my family and not work on my business at all. And how I need to plan to have wasted time every summer with my family. When I plan my wasted time, I can enjoy those moments without feeling guilty at all. Because I know if I'm planning my wasted time, I'm also planning my work time. Time a couple of hours, um, either a couple of hours each week or a couple of hours each day, depending on where you are with your business, to work on that business. And then I don't feel guilty working on my business either because I know that my wasted time with my family is right around the corner. I wanted to give you my best summer booking tip, and it's really a before you get bookings tip, and that is to really look at your calendar. Look at June, July, August, Cross off all the days that you are busy, whether that's on vacation with your family or having a splurge and pool night with your girlfriends. When you are booking a day that has no conflicts, you will be excited about going out to work. And it also helps when you're making your booking calls to know that you are free this Tuesday or this Friday. Which one of those works better for your host? Be in control of your summer schedule and make it work for you and your family. Let me tell you, working at home with kids can be a challenge. And so here's a great tip. Get up early. So I know that's hard for me. I love to sleep in. But what I like to do is get up and get my work done before my kids get up and get busy. Because our three-year-old, as soon as she gets up, she'll be quiet for a little bit. But I try to get out of my office by 10 a.m. So that way I can spend the day with my kids. So schedule that time to be in your office in the early morning hours. And then you can schedule fun time with your kids for the afternoon. Then after everybody is worn out, so around like 2 o'clock, or three o'clock, I'll come back in my office for a couple hours to get the things done that I wasn't able to accomplish that morning. That your business is flexible, but not optional. That is one of my best tips I can give you because if you schedule time to work, then you can schedule time to play. So I'm all about theme shows and this summer I'm offering salads and sangria as one of my theme shows, but I've put a little different spin on it. I'm actually making salad pizza. So what I'm doing is I created a pick collage of all the different salad pizzas and I'll share it with you. And I'm reaching out to past hosts, guests, people that said, oh, I'll host in the summer, you know, give me a buzz. So I'm gonna send them the pic collage and it's gonna sound something like this in the message. Like, hey Susie, I just wanted to reach out to you to let you know that I'm offering a pizza salad and sangria theme show. Take a look at these gorgeous pizzas. We can do an Italian salad pizza. We can do arugula, fresh mozzarella and sun-dried tomatoes. We can do a grilled chicken gorgonzola grilled pear pizza. Which one do you think your friends would like? And the best part about my theme show is if you host in June, we are offering double free products for hosts. Now they don't know what that means, so I'll always define that in the text. And I'll say to them, my average host earns anywhere from a hundred to a three hundred dollar shopping spree. So if you can get your friends together in June, you have the opportunity to earn double free host rewards. So instead of a hundred to three hundred, you have an opportunity to earn two to six hundred. And we came up with this kind of fun idea that we're we're really having fun with. So we've got two products that we're offering to our hosts who book shows with us and what we're doing and we're doing this on virtual shows and we're doing this on live shows as well and we have this fun little dice um, and so we're rolling the dice and whatever number the host gets this was a four she can actually purchase one of these products for four dollars at her show and the show has to be a June or July show um, you can go ahead and order it on the host order and depending on what her discount between 20 and 30 you're getting that discount plus you're making commission so it's not costing you that much but if you want to have a full summer offering a fun product challenge for a host sometimes works my biggest thing in the summer is three of my 
all three of my kids are home. And yes, they're all different ages, but they all have different activities, different jobs. I live by a calendar. So I am recommending to you right now to look at June, July, and August and get a calendar that has multiple lines so you can actually say this kid's name, family name, this kid's name. You are the CEO of your own business. And so don't just say, oh, I'm gonna get the night off because nobody wanted to book a party. Everybody wants to have a party. You have control over that. You have control over your success. Nobody has control over if you feel fill that Tuesday, July 11th date. You just have to ask more people. So be a planner, bring the binder with you. So like right now, I just had to go to something for my child and in the back, can you see that? That's my pink binder because I had to wait a half an hour for him and so I actually do my host coaching calls. Sometimes I have to get up at five o'clock in the morning so I can have that play time. I love summer, I love playtime, but I also know that my bills have to get paid. And so make your why big and be planning patty. Take care, bye bye. One of my favorite ways to keep my business strong and exciting during the summer is to offer recipes or party themes that I only do in the summer. Create something exciting that people are gonna really want to get behind. So this summer I will be doing grilled pineapple with pound cake and fresh whipped cream. Imagine how delicious that's going to be. And you're gonna be able to show off some great products, including this portable indoor-outdoor grill that is fantastic. You can teach people great recipes, and the cleanup is gonna be a breeze when you use the grill mat and tray. So that's what I'm doing exciting to keep summer going strong. For summer booking is really what you're gonna be thinking about is the way that people's schedules change, as well as the way that their food prep changes. Our job is to create solutions for problems that people have in the kitchen or for entertaining or whatever it might be. So just like in the fall, a lot more of my baking tools get used, in the summer, I have a lot of other entertaining tools that get used. The cool and serve tray, the grilling tools, all of my fresh veggie and fresh fruit tools. Those are the things that need to start being showcased because those are gonna be what people are using in the kitchen and those are the frustrations that they are gonna have when they are food prepping themselves. If we are speaking to people's needs and we are figuring out what they need to make food prep and entertaining and just family time simpler and easier, then you're gonna get booking. So bust out those tools that maybe don't get used as often in the colder months. But in the summer, uh, fresh pineapple, fresh fruit, um, strawberries, all these different things that I can showcase, all of these wonderful tools that we have are gonna make people want to be able to learn and get their hands on the tools and book a party. As long as you guys consider what you need as a consumer, you're gonna be doing a really big service to the people that you are serving. So if you think that way and you are genuine, you will get those bookings. We can have a fabulous summer if we're willing to work for it and we're willing to work around you know, having the kids at home and off school. So my tip for you is to set up um, some kids cooking shows, cooking classes while the kids are out of school get some moms together, do little pizzas, do popsicle makers, um, you know, do desserts, do peanut butter and jellies, and get the kids involved in the kitchen. Let's make it a great summer. Just go full throttle all, all month and just get it done. So I hope that helps. Have a great day. Don't fly by the seat of your pants this summer. Plan to work, plan to play, and you'll be happy that you did both. Have a great summer. Don't forget to keep your Pampered Chef business going. Bye now. I hope you have a super successful summer. All right, guys, you can do this. Have a great summer, you guys.